Hey, my name is Dan. I used to work at the biggest dealership in the country. Now I teach fine folks like you how not to get fucked when buying a car. Now in this video, I guys want to talk to you about family mechanic. It's a real simple concept. I'm going to try to make this video real short and sweet. But the concept is this. You have a family doctor. You have a family lawyer. You need a family mechanic. Now, how do you find a family mechanic? Where do you even look for one? Or should I go and talk about why you need a family mechanic? Well, if, if that's not clear, if you don't understand, if, like for like one person that doesn't understand, I'll make it super clear why you need a family mechanic. Because you don't want to be paying $70 an hour, $100 an hour, $60 an hour. You know, that's a good price. $60 an hour shop rates, that's, that's cheap. You don't want to be paying that money. Because mechanics make typically somewhere between 20 and 35, which is like really high end mechanics. Typically that's what they make. Everything else is going straight to the profit for the dealerships or the shop owner. You don't want to be doing that. You want to find a mechanic who is working out of his own garage. Probably not even a shop. You know, not, not not something that you see on the street. Maybe it's some kind of like, you know, a backyard shop or a big shed of some kind, or most likely a driveway and a garage or just backyard. That's it. Why do you need a mechanic like this? Because you will be paying 15, 20, 25, $30 an hour instead of $70 an hour. This mechanic needs to have probably a lift, most likely, or somewhere where he can raise up the vehicle pretty good. Computers, probably a few of them. He needs to be experienced. And then you need to have, uh, well, I'll talk about that later, but you need two mechanics. You need someone who knows what the hell they're doing. Someone who has 10, 15, 20 years of experience. Possibly a retired mechanic. Somebody, maybe they got injured at work and now they're just working uh, from their house. So that's why you need a mechanic, okay? Now, the second type of mechanic you're gonna need is someone who is not super experienced, but who knows how to do simple things in a car, like change the sp spark plugs, change the brakes, change oil, or change the transmission fluid. Uh, you know, just super simple things, right? Something goes wrong, you don't wanna be going and paying $30 an hour to, to change your brakes. You could be paying $15 an hour for somebody to change your brakes. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's very simple jobs, but because somebody who is, let's say, going to college to be a mechanic or somebody who is an apprentice or somebody who is just a young guy who knows about cars, you know, or somebody who is just doing it on the weekends for extra cash, you want to have two types of mechanic. Per first one, who is a true professional. A true professional would be somebody like Scotty Kilmer. If you don't know who Scotty Kilmer is, just put in Scotty Kilmer on YouTube and you're going to see who he is. He's a professional mechanic. His granddad he was a mechanic, his dad was a mechanic, and he's a mechanic. I mean, they've been working on cars for a long time. He knows a lot about cars. And then you're gonna need uh, another mechanic who can work on simple things on your car. Make sense? Just like family doctor, just like family lawyer, you need a family mechanic. It's somebody who you're gonna go through with all your entire family, literally your friends, your family. You can even ask your friends, how would, oh, how the fuck do you find one? I, yeah, should probably tell you how do you find one. That's a, yeah, good one, Dan. So how do you find one? First, ask around, ask your friends. Then Craigslist and Facebook. There's a lot of people out there that are putting out odd jobs on Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is fucking amazing. Somebody who changes brakes, somebody who changes oil, somebody who can do a training replacement, you know, things like that. You know, first you're gonna find yourself a simple mechanic, most likely, and then you're gonna graduate and you're gonna find yourself a professional mechanic, you know, and you might have to go through two, three, four of them, you know, it, it really depends. So you're gonna find yourself a mechanic, you're gonna be paying him a good amount of money, but nothing crazy, not like 50 or 60 or $70 an hour for something that, that shop rates cost, you know. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up below and click the subscribe button over my head or watch one of those two videos if you want to see more money saving tips about cars. This is Dan with 60 Minute Car. I'm signing out and I'll see you on the internet.